And finally this morning, stepping out in style, all eyes are peeled as First Lady Michelle Obama goes uh, under the inauguration day microscope. <laughs> Mrs. Obama, of course, is known for her fashion-forward choices. And as ABC's Tanya Rivero tells us, she is definitely kicking off the next four years with a bang. <laughs> Over the past four years, it's been bold colors, bare arms, and now fresh bangs. No one has influenced women's fashion quite like <laughs> Michelle Obama. Women like the way that she mixes labels, she's unafraid to wear color. She seems like she's having fun. And as all eyes turn to the inauguration, one big mystery remains. Who will the first lady be wearing? In 2009, her one-shouldered white chiffon inaugural ball gown made designer Jason Wu a household name. When she wore his gown, apparently his company received 4 million website hits. Women's Wear Daily asked some of the world's top designers to sketch their visions. Calvin Klein went for a dark, edgy, tapered look. Leela Rose Scott, a delicate lavender gown, while Tommy Hilfiger turned to the next generation with looks for first daughters Malia and Sasha. They're becoming more interested in fashion, and American designers are very keen to dress them. The first lady has had a few fashion missteps, ruffling feathers when she wore British label Alexander McQueen to a state dinner for the Chinese president and a cardigan to meet the queen. But the first lady takes it all in stride, even as she becomes a fashion icon for the ages, capable of changing a company's bottom line in minutes, telling our own Robin Roberts, It's hard, you know? I kind of a tomboy jock at heart, but I like to look nice. I'm Tanya Rivero in New York. We will all be watching. On a great day of American pageantry. <laughs> That's what's making news in America this morning. Stay with us for Good Morning America. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great Monday.